open roads can sometimes hit alarmingly close to home. For example, early on in this interactive road trip, your 16-year-old protagonist Tess turns around to reach for a bag perched in the back of her mum's vintage station wagon. Without skipping a beat, she's accosted by her mother, Opal. The altercation flooded my brain with memories of family road trips in the early 2000s. You can't just turn around, it's unsafe, my dad would say from his vehicular throne, despite how frustratingly close I was to grabbing my Game Boy. Parental authority and nostalgia are just a few of the powerful tools Open Roads harnesses to deliver a playful and relatable story about coming of age in the early aughts. However, haste Hastily resolved problems and a lack of an engaging mystery also make this adventure a little too predictable to leave a lasting impression. That's easy for you to say. Yeah, I remember. And the answer is still no. Set in the wake of her grandmother's passing, Tess and her mother are forced to navigate grief and economic uncertainty as they cope with the breakdown of their nuclear family. Tess's father is distant, in touch via text alone, while her mother maintains a tough exterior for her daughter's sake. Stuck in the middle, Tess's optimistic outlook shines through, but hides a trove of complex emotions. The exceptional Hollywood leads, Carrie Russell and Caitlin Deva, amplify their uncomfortably raw exchanges. Russell's opal is believably guarded, but capable of arresting warmth. In contrast, Diva's test balances youthful naivete with spirited angst. Tonal subtext abounds as emotions run high, and I felt connected to these characters as early as the opening back and forth. Please tell me the keys are somewhere. I need to see what a lava lamp looks like after it just sits there mutating for 30 years. The art style leaves a lasting first impression as well. Hand-drawn 2D characters are layered on top of meticulously detailed 3D environments, giving this world a unique dreamlike quality, with imperfect scribble notes juxtaposed against an angular digital backdrop. I couldn't help but inspect the scratches and flecks of dust on a chunky iMac lookalike I came across at one point. While this trip is mostly isolating by design, the touches of life like soot particles hanging in the air and tree swing in the wind make you feel more at peace in the solitude. In the process of sorting through her late grandmother's belongings, Tess uncovers a curious briefcase of relics, complete with a cryptic postcard from an unknown sender beckoning her grandma to join them. Keen to escape the immediate burdens of loss, Tess convinces a reluctant opal to cross the country and unravel a generational family mystery. Melancholic but strangely engrossing, Open Roads almost entirely consists of rummaging through dioramas lost to time. From derelict summer houses to musty hotel rooms, each new location contains sprinklings of forgotten belongings to interact with, alongside precious tidbits of environmental storytelling I relished in examining with a fine tooth comb. An admittedly repetitive process, standout items like charming childhood drawings that mask coping mechanisms with superheroes and classic rented DVDs managed to keep me on the hook while effectively timestamping each hazy era they were from. Oh, right. I was supposed to feed you. Poor little guy. A light smattering of systems allow you to engage your inner holistic detective to piece together the past, but don't expect deep puzzles or critical thinking. Across its roughly three and a half hour runtime, open roads didn't get more complicated than finding an odd opening to another room or searching out a partially hidden letter. The more you scour, the more you confront its past meets present storytelling that revolves around Opal's own childhood traumas, which are finding new life in the issues now plaguing her daughter. Like phantom wounds passed down through generations, the happy-go-lucky veneer masks troubling truths that are, for the most part, intriguing to unfurl. Well, howdy there. What's your name, buddy? Interacting with certain items can prompt Tess's inner monologue and offer a window into a developing psyche, while plot forwarding objects trigger eye opening conversations with her mother. Seeking out as many of these touchy scenes as possible helped ground me in the story and compelled me to tinker with all the toys I could find in search of more emotive exposition. Unfortunately, such loaded artifacts are few and far between. Still, the conversations surrounding them felt sincere and created a nervous atmosphere that kept me guessing as the family secrets started to surface. Environmental inspections are spliced between highway drives where Tess and Opal process the latest day while coasting to the next spot. Where static locations focus on Opal's murky upbringing and faulty memory, the car conversations center around Tess's present issues with her mum. Initially, the mysterious man's letters and postcards appear to be the hook, but the persistent interpersonal turmoil is by far Open Road's defining asset. What? My cell phone. I left my cell phone at the hotel. It was disappointing then that as a player come passenger in this journey, I began to feel like a ghost in the machine, privy to all the surrounding context, but unable to engage with it meaningfully. Even though I could radio surf, flick door locks, and text as the autumnal foliage passed me by, I felt distant from Tess as the story soldiered on. Despite the amount of time I'd spent in her head, Tess's actions felt unusually measured for a teenager dealing with such traumatic events. I often wished that Open Roads would stop pulling punches until, surprisingly quickly, the credits rolled. A few breezy puzzles offered fleeting resistance, but the twists and turns of the story didn't provoke the emotion I expected when they finally arrived. The pieces of this quilt never quite stitched together for me. Do your homework. 
This feeling is most frustrating when you're offered options in dialogue. I was often keen to chase certain plot threads, but my choices always tended to lead to the same place. The inconsequentiality of what I thought was important subtext became especially disheartening when I realized this in my second playthrough. The investigative spirit in its early game explorations was never nurtured during Open Roads conversations. Heavy discussions about mental health felt like an opportunity to level the playing field between Tess and her mother, but such moments weren't allowed to breathe in a believable way. A safe and disappointing climax only confirmed my fears, providing an easy answer that felt like a messily applied band-aid over a far more complex wound. I was left longing for more of the ugly, believable humanity we all partake in, but this tale decidedly orbits. Mm -hmm. Notify the blah blah. Propelled by a star-studded cast and charming retro world, Open Road's tale of family tragedy stumbles over its heavier themes, delivering an earnest but ultimately safe road trip mystery. Pottering through meticulous environments full of kitschy decor was at least enough to keep me entertained for its short runtime. However, with sharp teeth and no bite, I was left hungry for something media and more emotionally charged by the time the credits rolled. For more on recent adventure games, check out our reviews for Alone in the Dark or Outcast A New Beginning. And for everything else, stick with IGN.